Hey guys, I'm trying a different angle today so you can let me know if you like it or not. All right, so I'm gonna do a swirl. I have an old um, painting that I wasn't super crazy about. So I'm gonna do a pour over and I've got red, a very burnt uh, orange red. Some, um, this is Naples yellow, one of my favorite, favorite colors and um, some purple. Yeah. So I want my purple in the center. So I always forget when I'm recording for some reason, I have a hard time thinking and talking and doing all at the same time, but it's first in last out. So the last one I want out is the first one I want in. So let's do the purple. And a little bit of this, and then I'm gonna go back and do a little bit more purple. We get some really pretty lines there. It's the best part of swirls, in my opinion, is those beautiful lines you get. So one more of this. Well, not one more of this, but one more rotation of that, and just a tad bit of purple. And then we're gonna do some more of the Naples. And now bring in some of this burnt orange. A little bit of the Naples. Some more burnt orange. My flow trial was a little bit uh, goopy. All right, I think I'm gonna be done with that Naples. Some red. Burnt orange. Oh, I just had some bigger goobers in it. Some more red. This is not going to be enough, so I'm trying to decide what I want to do. Some burnt orange. I'm going to have some Floetrol goobers to... You know, a week ago I didn't have any goobers in my Floetrol. Let's go backwards, uh, actually, since we don't have enough paint, and let's actually do some... I'm kind of go full circle with these colors here. I'm just gonna put a little bit of water on this canvas. Just kinda help it go. I don't like I said my photo all kinda got yucky. I just don't want any dry spots where it's gonna resist. I don't want it soaking wet, but let's tap some of that off actually. I don't want it soaking wet, but I don't want it dry. It's bone either. Alright. Make sure that's in camera. Okay, that out of the way. And let's start pouring. Wow, the red really, really, really wanted to take over, didn't it? That is a bossy red, if I ever saw one. Gracious. All right. Now let's kind of tell a little bit. Water's making the edges runny, which is fine. I don't think I like the way that red really took over, though. Not super crazy about it, I have to admit. I think that was take two and a fail. Let's try one thing to salvage this real quick.
Alright, I really like string pulls, so I grab some string. The purple kind of is right here, so I'm gonna do I'm gonna dip my my string in the purple. I'm gonna stick because I don't want it to be super super coated. Okay, I'm kind of gonna dance it. And I'll just pull it through that center there. There we go. And I'm gonna do I'm gonna do another one in that Naples yellow. Okay, so let's start about right here, I think. Ooh, that's really pretty. Okay, I'm gonna do one more purple. Maybe about right here, pull it through. I'm gonna just go right over the one I already have, make it a little bit bigger. Whoops. Go right through that Naples yellow. There we go. There we go. I think we saved it. You'll have to let me know what you think. Let's do some close ups. Okay, do you think I saved it? That would be probably the top. Let's go this way. Do you think that was enough to give that red a little bit of a break in there with the focal point of the string pull? You'll have to let me know what you think. And as always, guys, we'll see you next time. Happy pouring.